the children of Israel had to put the blood of the lamb, a lamb without blemish, on the doorposts of their homes so that they would be protected. And so on this present day, we do not need to go out and physically slaughter a lamb and put its blood on the doorposts of our homes. Instead, John chapter 1 verse 29 says, The next day he saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John the Baptist saw Jesus Christ and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Saints, we do not need to apply the blood of a physical lamb. We need the blood of the precious Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. We need to apply the blood of Jesus Christ on every doorpost of our homes. We need to apply the blood of Jesus Christ over your life, over your family, your children, your loved ones. People of God, no weapon formed against you will prosper because you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so I pray that you would experience the peace and tranquility that comes when you know that you are protected by Jesus Christ. Should you come under attack, under siege from the enemy, be confident, be strong in the Lord, unwavering in faith, because there is a hedge of protection surrounding you. The enemy may send a storm. He may shoot arrows in your direction. But be composed. Be assured. Because the blood of Jesus Christ is an impenetrable fortress. My prayer is that we as believers would remember to plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our lives. In these times that we live in, there is no better protection. There is no other option but to seek refuge in Jesus. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we, we trust in the name of the Lord our God. We trust in Jesus Christ. We have victory when we are hidden by the blood of the Lamb. We have authority by the blood of the Lamb of God. And we overcome the enemy. We overcome the adversary by the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we invite your presence into our lives. We welcome the Holy Spirit into our lives. At this time, I pray for each and everyone under the sound of my voice. I declare your word that tells us that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. I pray and declare Psalm 121 verse 7. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. I pray and I declare Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. Lord, we call on your holy name. We run to seek your presence, Father. We run to find refuge and protection in your presence. And so we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our homes, over our families, our health, and the works of our hands. Should the enemy come to try and steal from us, may he find that the angel of the Lord will be standing guard around us. Should the enemy come to destroy us, I pray that he will be blinded and that there will be confusion in his camp in Jesus' name. We trust in you, Lord. We trust in your blood, the blood that has miraculous and wonder-working power even to this day. 
let there be a great move of the Holy Spirit in our lives. May we experience restoration. May we experience freedom and liberty. May we experience victory in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over everything that I am connected to. And even as I pray in this moment, Lord, I ask that you would meet the needs of every individual that is listening right now, every family that is listening right now. We believe that nothing is impossible with you, Lord. Nothing is too difficult. Your blood can cleanse us from all sin. Your blood can make us clean and whole again. Your blood can restore health in our bodies. It can heal the troubled heart and set free every soul that is in bondage. It can heal the troubled heart and set free every soul that is in bondage. Your blood can heal and restore love, joy and peace in broken homes. It can reunite families and restore marriages. Your blood will protect us and deliver us from the snare of the fowler. Lord Jesus, we look to you to be our shield and protection. Protect us, Lord, from the terror of the night. Defend us from the arrows that fly by day. Protect us from the pestilence that stalks in darkness. Lord Jesus, you are our dwelling place. When we call, you are a God who answers. When we're in trouble, you are a God who rescues and delivers. Indeed, Lord Jesus, your word says a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you.